Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. Now this video is all about how to manage your cash accounts and it is probably one of the most common questions that I get asked by my friends. And whilst there's no wrong or right uh, way of managing your cash accounts, often when I meet with someone who's got credit card debt and asks me to help financially coach them out of that debt, um, they often haven't got the quite the formula right for how to manage their cash and, and their accounts and that's why they've gotten to credit card debt in the first place. So I devised a plan or a st strategy for most people to follow where it really simplifies um, how you use your cash and how you use your bank accounts. So let's not waste any time, we'll get straight into it. Alright, account number one. This is your everyday account where your salary gets paid, you have a linked ATM debit card. Um, which you use to pay for things. So out of this account, whether you get paid monthly or fortnightly or even weekly, this is where all your short-term living expenses come out of. So for example, your gym membership, um, your lunch money, weekend money, um, any sort of charity donations that you have set up on an automatic direct debit plan, they come out of this everyday account. Then your second account is your I call it your life account. So this is where you're going to you stockpile the account so that you've always got a couple of months worth of salary in there or a couple of thousand dollars so that when those other expenses that come through that aren't necessarily monthly expenses but they come through once a year and they're quite expensive, um, you have stockpiled that account and you can pay for those costs immediately out of cash. For me personally, um, August is a really expensive month. It is my... Um, dad's birthday, it is my wedding anniversary, it is my mum's birthday and it's also my husband's birthday. So in the space of about 22-23 days I've got so many presents that I need to buy and I always know that that's going to be, it's going to kind of wipe me out financially for a couple of weeks. So what I do is I stockpile up my savings account so that I'm, I prepare for that and when I need to go and buy all those beautiful presents for them I pay for them in cash and I do not ever reach for my credit card. So that might be, for you, If um, that might be an internet-based account, and I don't suggest having a credit, an ATM card, I should say, linked to that account, so that if you ever get tempted to buy something beautiful and think, oh no, I'll just tap into my life account, you actually have to physically go in and transfer the money into your everyday account. By seeing that transfer, you might decide not to buy it because you're all those hard-earned savings that you've been pumping into that savings account, you sort of think, oh no, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this dress slide, I won't buy it because I don't want to eat into my savings, it's taken me so long to build that up. So essentially two accounts. Now if you are super savvy with your money, you don't get into um, any sort of credit card debt and you're really interested about building your financial wealth and really making a move into establishing financial independence for yourself, you can actually establish a third bank account. Again I recommend that it be internet based and linked to your everyday account. And this is money that you put into it with, that you'll potentially be using for investing. So you might even want to set it up as a direct uh, debit plan of you know $200 per month or $500 per month or $5,000 per month. But this is money that you think, you know what, I'd like to build up and I'm, going to, I'm comfortable with investing this for the long run. And I'm going to do a separate video on investing, but this will be separate to your um, everyday bank account, separate to your life account. Um, and uh, it's a completely separate account where it's money that you really don't need, you don't have any major expenses and you simply don't know what to do with, it, do with it, so you'll quickly park it into this third account. But if that's overwhelming, just stick with the two, the two accounts. One other important point that I want to make about that second account is life happens, and that's why I call it a life account. You know, we have, we get speeding tickets, I got a $250 parking fine the other day, by having that savings account, which is your account number two, when those things happen, we don't have to feel depressed and frustrated. Yes, it's annoying getting those things, but that's life. So that you have a little savings account for those moments and you can handle you know, the, the emotions behind that experience with a lot more strength um, and stability and think, it's all right, that's annoying, I got a parking ticket the other day, but I've got more than enough money to pay for that expense. Um, uh, and I can pay that parking ticket and be done with it and it's out of my way and I can continue on with wealth and get back to repiling my savings account and my investment savings account. So keep it as simple as possible. This isn't the right solution for everybody but I know from giving this advice to a lot of my clients and they found it really easy to manage and therefore it's because it's easy to manage they don't get distracted, they don't get tempted, um, it's really easy and it doesn't require too much brain power. 
So that's all for this video. Thank you very much. Don't forget you can always follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and Twitter. And you can um, please make sure you subscribe. If you thought this was helpful, don't forget, copy and paste the link and email it to your friend, put it on their Facebook page, put it on your Facebook page. Make sure you share this knowledge because it's very valuable. Okay, so ciao for now. Thanks again and I'll see you very soon. Bye.